welcome new and old. I am so happy to have you here. We have waited months for the next launch of our comprehensive course, Meal Prep Ignite, and I have good news, it's back. So many of you have emailed me asking when you can enroll next, and the time is now. From today, for one week only, enrollment is open. If you don't know, my Meal Prep Ignite course is a comprehensive course to teach you how to meal prep for your lifestyle. We did the first launch back in April, and since then, we have learned what our students liked and what they wanted more of and added to the course for you all today. So many people said they wanted more family meal prep content, so we added that in the form of videos, recipes, and inspiration pamphlets. We have also added additional meal prep video examples and and simplified our Meal Prep Ignite system so it can be universally applied whether you're prepping for one person or for a family of people. If you've already enrolled, then you have access to all of the changes. But if not, now is your time and we are doing a special back to school discount for this launch only. You can learn all about it at mealprepignite.com. But it is seriously only open until August 9th of this year. If you miss out, then that is it. We are not planning on opening enrollment again until 2019. So if you want it, get it now. To celebrate and be excited about this launch, I am sharing a family meal prep with you all today, and I used my Meal Prep Ignite system, which I've also updated and simplified, to plan it out. It's a step-by-step -step system to take you from knowing nothing about what you're going to eat next week, to figuring out what you're going to make, and how you're going to do it efficiently to save you time and money. This example prep is for a family of four, two kids and two adults for four days of the week. It can be more manageable sometimes when prepping for a family to not do the weekends so there's less planning and maybe you buy or have a work or school lunch once a week, a family dinner out, whatever it may be. The menu for this family meal prep is self prep breakfast. One of the new concepts I introduce in the updated family meal prep section of the course is an inspiration pamphlet with ideas for things that you can have ready that your family members can make themselves. Today you'll see DIY instant oatmeal, toast options, and cereal with fruit. For lunch, we've got tuna salad pitas and or salads, and squash and chicken sausage bowls. For dinners, we have a Mexican casserole and salad bar, as well as a turkey burger bar with roasted veggies. And of course, we can't forget snacks for the munchies. Get it? Munchies like you're hungry, but also munchies like you, the mind over munchies. For the DIY instant oatmeal, I combine quick cooking oats, oat flour, cinnamon, and salt in a large container. Mix to combine. When you're ready to eat, simply get about a half cup of the mixture, add a cup of water, and cook over the stove or in the microwave for two to three minutes. The oat flour is optional, but it actually helps make the mixture a little creamier. Having this bulk buddy ready makes it easy for any family member to grab their own breakfast and prep it themselves, and it saves money from buying those instant packets and not to mention reduces waste. You could of course portion out the oats in advance if you wanted to cut down on an extra step, which could be helpful depending on how old your smaller family members are. I'm also making sure to have available bread for toast with topping options. In the pamphlet, I give a whole chart with fun toast combination options, but you could do anything. Coconut butter with banana, cashew butter with blueberries and cacao nibs, or avocado smashed with lime juice and salt. Making sure that the ingredients are accessible to your family will be the key to getting them to prep items on their own. And last but not least, some cereal with fruit. I've got a video sharing tips for making healthier cereal choices, and I've also included a guide for what to look for in the Meal Prep Ignite course as well. Breakfast is served, or well prepped so that everyone else can serve themselves. You get it. I'm starting my first lunch with a tuna salad base. I start with canned tuna and then add diced celery, red onion, parsley, dill, Greek yogurt, or you could use mayo, although it's not as meal prep friendly, whole grain mustard, lemon juice, and a pinch of black pepper. You can make any tuna salad you prefer, or maybe your family prefers salmon to tuna, whatever works. For meal prepping, I'm making salad and sandwich kits. I add the tuna salad to containers, and for the adults, add salads using spinach and microgreens with a lemon wedge, baby carrots with nut butter on the side for dipping, and a squeezed fruit pack for some extra nutrition and bulk. For the kids, I've got that tuna salad, baby carrots with nut butter, the squeeze fruit pack, and instead of the salad, I'm adding a pita pocket. These kits are ready to go. This keeps the content separate and fresh and makes for a fun DIY lunch experience too. 
My second lunch is a squash and chicken apple sausage bowl. I love the meal prep ignite system because it makes it super easy to plan out different meals for the week if you don't want to eat the same thing every day. And it shares tons of tips so that you don't have to eat leftovers if you don't want to. For the second lunch, I'm using the same components to change just a few things for the kid and adult meals. First, I roast up butternut squash with a little avocado oil, salt, and pepper. I also chop up some chicken apple sausage. For the kids, I skewer the sausage with blackberries. Food on a stick is just more enticing. When the butternut squash is out of the oven and cool enough to handle, I combine that with some fresh blueberries and slivered almonds. For the kids' lunches, I add the butternut squash mixture and skewers to containers. For the adult bowls, I add some additional chopped chicken apple sausage to the butternut squash mixture. I fill their containers with cooked cauliflower rice and the butternut squash mix on top. That is an easy prep that required the same foods, but we end up with different food experiences, and that is what it's all about. I also have some celery with guac packs to add to the adult meals. Pre-made guac packs can be more expensive than making your own guac depending on where you live, but for meal prep they can be really great because your guac isn't going to go bad or turn in color and it's pre-portioned. You could of course portion out your guac the day of if you aren't a fan. Lunches are done. Okay, on to dinners. We are starting with a Mexican lasagna casserole that I am going to make a day ahead. In a skillet, I cook onion and bell pepper in a little oil until softened. Add lean ground beef, or you could use turkey or anything else, and cook through completely. Add chili powder, salsa, and diced tomatoes. Stir and remove from the heat and set aside. Separately, I mix together drained and rinsed black beans, corn, olives, and some green onion. In a large baking dish, I place a few tortillas on the bottom. Use corn, wheat, gluten-free, or whatever works for your family. I add half of that beef mixture, followed by half of the bean mixture and some shredded cheese. Repeat those layers until you've got two, of course, topping it off with that cheese. Save for up to a day before baking or bake immediately. I'm storing this overnight so that I can have a fresh cooked meal on Monday with leftovers Wednesday, but it is your call. This can also be frozen once it's cooked. I'm prepping salad bar ingredients to go with it. Use any ingredients that your family will eat. A salad bar is a fun way to DIY dinner and encourage everyone to eat a few more vegetables, not to mention it requires no cooking and is super easy to throw together. Tomorrow night, Monday for me, I just throw the casserole in the oven and put all of the salad bar ingredients on the table and dinner is served. That Mexican casserole is freaking delicious too. And the salad bar concept flows right into our second dinner, which is a burger bar. So in the updated course content for Meal Prep Ignite, I also added an entire pamphlet with buffet family style meal ideas. This burger bar is one of them. I get my burgers made on prep day. I mix ground turkey, Worcestershire, 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 brown sauce. <laughs> parsley, and salt and pep together and make into patties. Make a slight indent in the center and cook them on the grill or skillet until cooked through about five minutes per side. I can store that with the prepped toppings of my choice. I am also getting some broccoli and cauliflower ready to go to roast the day of, and it wouldn't be a burger bar without fries. So I am cutting up some sweet potato fries as well. Okay, so bear with me, but there's a lot to say about sweet potato fries and baked fries in general. First of all, cut potatoes of all types are not great for meal prep. I share this with you in my Meal Prep Ignite course because I have an entire list sharing the best and worst foods for meal prepping. Potatoes that are sliced are not ideal, but there are some things you can do. If you're going to cut sweet potatoes in advance, or any potatoes, submerge them in water and they'll last a day or two. So I am only prepping fries for one of the burger bar dinner days, the other I will cut the day of. Okay, so this meal is prepped. When Tuesday night comes, I dry off the fries, toss them with some oil, salt, and pepper, and any seasonings you'd like, and then add them to a baking rack on a tray. I also add those prepped veggies to a tray and toss them with oil and seasonings. 
into the oven they go, and in the meantime, I can reheat the burgers and put out the toppings. I include both buns and lettuce wraps for those who want it protein style and get the table set. And then I've got a super fun dinner experience that's healthy, veggie inclusive, and family fun for everyone. If you like the bar concept, you will love the other ideas I have in that pamphlet, a ton of versatile options that you can customize for your family. For a later night dessert, my household loves to keep fruit on hand. I am keeping strawberries whole because I know thanks to my best and worst guide that they won't make it through the week if they're sliced. Instead, I simply pop off the stem. This is actually easier than cutting off the ends and you retain more of the berry. It's a win-win. I've also got cheese cubes, portioned trail mix, and single serve edamame ready to go for snacks. For the edamame, I simply transfer frozen edamame to jars portioned out. This makes them accessible to my family. Then they can just grab one from the freezer, pop them in the microwave for a quick protein packed and nutritious snack or you can even just thaw them out in the fridge and eat cold. And that is my family meal prep for the week. Totally customizable and versatile. It can be completely gluten-free, dairy-free, nut-free, or whatever your family needs because you can design your own and make the choices about what ingredients will resonate most and which won't. The idea isn't for me to make a perfect meal prep for you because I can't, I don't know your family, but you can. And I give you the tools to do that in my Meal Prep Ignite course. Grab it now, that back to school discount ends August 9th at mealprepignite.com. If you liked this type of video, I have more examples in the course not available anywhere else. There is a vegan example, a gluten-free example, a family meal prep, and another full week's meal prep video available to course students only. Also, are you on Instagram? If so, are you participating in the 30-day My Self Love Challenge that I'm hosting right now? You can jump in at any time, so come join us and check it out. I will see you next week for a brand new episode, and remember, it's all a matter of mind over munch.